time goes on, but I don't know, I just must say, I can't help it. <laughs> um, so is this city. I pay homage to concrete jungles while sidestepping puddles of blood, seeing life rafts and ragdolls reflecting faces of familiar features, my own face down in muddy euphoria, great cast eyes like granite, stone to the degree I am too solid to absorb anything other than shockwaves. Heaver on the concrete jungle, machetes replaced by teeth and razor blades, crop crying screams as blood spills from wrist became the song of the city. Hugging this porcelain death that ice it has become my worldly tomb, leaving behind all workers, no job. To your old baby boy reflections of that eyes on the wall top in gold, green, and red brown. Reflections of Afro Latino Indio secrecies. Cry he has never seen red borders reminiscent of Sao Pule. Crying for mommy. She left him with me to watch. Except the wrist of the hands and whole time have been slipped vertically. Virtually spilling its light down moments of the last seconds. And he asked me my short life 20 years reflecting across the face of my moon leg with Gary sat by a vessel. My son not knowing that my visions are already consistently focusing on him. He's still crying. I cannot beat you now. Please wait. Wait till this weight weighs me down. More eights in my pockets than billions. My numbers plus the black hole. I fly until I hope with destiny until I'm caught down. Should you by me an incandescent time? With Tom, a 14 year friend, hips swiveling in syncopated time. Affecting the metronome of my memory till I'm caught down. She left me for him. Off one that lost myself. This is my song to the city. Bring new life into me. Amen.
suicide missions. And while we consider these words to be in the act, you know, avoiding all possibilities of a positive future, avoiding your mission before it begins to begin, here it's screaming, crying, and grieving, tears while washing the walls of your ignorance, violence until you see the whites of their eyes. And through that ignorance jacket, the block leads, explaining why my ropes is bleed red when pouring from concrete as a headstone the way you lie. And I'm collecting the dog tags of the fallen, placing them with the graffiti obituaries on the city streets and subways, creating mosaic of you before you die. But then again, I open my eyes to see how they've been born yet, and there's still a chance of saving you.
most scary ones are food bell because we were doing a show in our backyard. He was like, come to the food bell? <laughs> I said, and then when they came, he's like, the houses are so beautiful. And that was something that jumped out at people was how beautiful the houses are. And after hearing all these negative things about it, and they were surprised people would come to the backyard, sit, chill out, and leave them. By the time the evening was done, I was trying to kick them out of the house. <laughs> kick them out of the yard. Hey, the show's over. <laughs> so, okay. so um, my poetry is mostly dealing with um, relationships. So I'm going to do a couple of poems to deal with relationships. This first one is called Myth Making, so Love Sustain. And this just deals with people who I was talking about, or mostly women, right? just people. Women say they want a real man. And I always wonder, when they say they want a real man, exactly what do they want? <laughs> so this is my question. So you say that you want something real. What if I said that I want you? What if I said that I would think about you? What if I said that you would make my dreams? What if I told you what that means? What if I said that you are beyond the girl in my fantasy? I'm going to slap her. Yeah. I mean, I create shit just to brag. I write poems and stories I've had. Poems that I've no more metaphors about the beauty. I'm no longer comparing you to laugh and to I'm no longer comparing you to wins of coffee with dashes of cream and sugar for a lot of strength. I'm not liking the chocolate despite the fact that I love the taste. What if I said that I want to hold you? Outdoor, cherish, and grow old with you. What if you could read my thoughts? Hmm. Better not have to Is there a star you want? Let's name it. Is there a blessing you need? Let's claim it. You get three wishes because I'm a genie, then I grant you a million. Lord, it's been ever with me. But, I'm a simple man, and the earth, the clouds, the universe are not mine to give. And I don't own the sun, the moon, the stars, but I can love these keys, so I'm not. <laughs> what I'm really trying to say is that I want you. I'll count the world to write songs about you. I'm no longer looking for a diamond queen, a movie, a princess, or any type of royalty baptized in Nile waters. I won't call you the sun goddess, the moon goddess, or the salty moon of the ocean because I want to give you next week. I don't want you to be the queen of sheep, but God's ice is a queen of sheep, but sit in the back of the country, man, because I don't want them. I want you and your homes, a black woman, or bones, your everyday working struggling, sometimes complaining, but always sustaining virtue that makes me stand up and applause. And I do take pause by the mere presence of having you here next to me, mm. which means more to me than making you any type of mythical history. Mm. Kiss me. A simplistic kiss. And that's <laughs> Caress me, and I feel the urgency. Me inside of you is more than fantasy. With that being said, you're not Queen Nefertiti, so leave your crown at the bedside. As I want to authentic woman by my side, I'm not a king, the Messiah, Zeus, a little martyr, or any type of god. I'm just a brother who works hard. I can be a man, but I believe you want something more tangible. A man more solid than an animal. I mean, do you want to act proverbs? <laughs> Do you want love or just to get laid? Now, I can write what my man Eagle Warrior Pine Lamp proud stretch me the insides have you screaming so loud that my maternal ancestors will be proud and that's woman. But it only has me in love to stay. Just remember that I'm always achieving never to give me something to believe in a black man and I can be anything you want me to be as long as you are looking for something real and not just a fantasy. Mm. Wow.
and I'm able to love her the way she ought to be. She's heaven. She's angelically speaking to me, opening my spirit to the depth, to the possibilities and probabilities of feeling this love. She's a dip, it's not shit. She flows like a fountain that I want to sit. Though the road is bumpy, I'll never trip. She's my soul unseen. She's the witness to my dreams. She's the one my Lord dominating the scene. She's become the crispy to my cream. And I'm still in the field. She's dividing my mind like a Japanese clock. She's on time. Nah, not a dime, but a dollar that makes me kind of like a brother. Who's in the nuts? I cut over to breathe and respirate and necessitate to elevate me and for me to never escape my clutches. As she lightly brushes her hand against my face, she's the essence of grace. She's the hope for tomorrow. As I borrow her promises for my future sins, I've forgotten the fire being paid for. Looking at and open the door to a world too far from my heart to the life I'm living today, she says that she understands. She understands my hands are too small to build a home, but more than ever to build a life. Give me 12 hours, now I'll give you wrong for less than a day. It's easy to say and easier to achieve because she says that she believes in me, which I know is more than a notion. And I'm not cool by the devotion that's cherished in the far corners of her heart, sometimes tearing apart because the bills still has to be paid. So we step out of faith. But faith is the hope of things that I've seen, and I do stand tall, but sometimes I find myself leaning. On her. Mm. She dances to a villain, that only she can hear. And there's no fear to how the world will judge her, because you can't budge her or overwhelm her because she's dancing. She has me gazing. She is simple, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not supposed to be happy. <laughs> 